1933, a Swiss astronomer named Fritz Zwicky was studying a massive group of galaxies known as the Coma Cluster. A galaxy cluster is like a cosmic city where hundreds or even thousands of galaxies are bound together by gravity. Zwicky measured how fast these galaxies were moving and calculated how much mass would be needed to keep them from flying apart. But something didn't add up. The galaxies were moving too fast. According to his calculations, these galaxies should have escaped the cluster's gravitational pull long ago. Yet there they were, held together in a stable structure. The visible matter in the cluster, all the stars and gas he could observe, provided only about one-seventh of the gravitational force needed. Zwicky concluded that there must be additional unseen mass providing the missing gravity. He called it Dunkel Materie, German for dark matter. The astronomical community largely dismissed Zwicky's findings. His techniques were questioned, and the idea of invisible matter seemed too speculative for most scientists of the era. After nearly four decades, in the 1970s, astronomer Vera Rubin began a systematic study of galaxy rotation using improved spectrographic techniques. Her focus was on spiral galaxies, disc-shaped systems where stars orbit around a central bulge. Based on Newton's laws of gravitation, stars farther from a galaxy's center should orbit more slowly than those closer in, just like outer planets orbit the sun more slowly than inner ones. Rubin measured the orbital velocities of stars at various distances from galactic centers by analyzing the Doppler shift of their spectral lines. What she found completely contradicted these predictions. Rubin discovered that stars far from the galactic center were moving just as fast as those near the center. Instead of decreasing with distance, their orbital speeds remained roughly constant all the way to the edge of the visible disk. This flat rotation curve indicated that the total mass of each galaxy kept increasing with radius. Even in regions where no stars were visible, galaxy after galaxy showed the same pattern. This wasn't limited to unusual cases. It appeared to be a universal property of spiral galaxies. Rubin's observations revealed a fundamental problem. The mass to light ratio, the amount of mass compared to the light a galaxy emits, increased dramatically with distance from galactic centers. In the inner regions of galaxies, this ratio matched expectations from visible stars. But in the outer regions, it suggested large amounts of mass that didn't produce any detectable light. The effect was consistent across different galaxy types and sizes. This pointed to the presence of an extended, invisible halo surrounding each galaxy. Rubin's findings provided strong, concrete evidence supporting Zwicky's original idea. Dark matter was no longer just a wild hypothesis. It began to look real. Scientists found further evidence through gravitational lensing. Einstein's general relativity predicts that massive objects bend the path of light, creating distorted or magnified images of background galaxies. By measuring the degree of this bending, astronomers could calculate the total mass of galaxy clusters. These measurements consistently showed that the mass was far greater than what visible matter could explain. The bullet cluster, a system formed by the collision of two galaxy clusters, provided especially compelling evidence. Gravitational lensing revealed the distribution of total mass, while X-ray images showed hot gas, which contains most of the ordinary matter. Remarkably, the centers of gravitational mass were separated from the hot gas, this indicated that most of the mass passed through the collision without significant interaction. Strong evidence for dark matter that does not interact like normal matter. In the 1960s, scientists Arno Penzias and Robert Wilson were trying to eliminate noise from a radio antenna, but instead found a persistent signal coming from all directions in the sky. This signal turned out to be the cosmic microwave background, light that was released about 380,000 years after the Big Bang. Before this time, the universe was so hot and dense that light couldn't travel freely. But as it expanded and cooled, atoms formed, and light was finally able to move through space. Detailed measurements of small temperature variations in this ancient light revealed patterns shaped by the universe's total matter content. These analyses showed that ordinary matter, the atoms and particles we know, makes up only about 5% of the universe's total energy density. Around 27% must be an unknown form of matter that interacts through gravity but not with light, what we call dark matter. These results were crucial for explaining how galaxies and large-scale structures formed, showing that dark matter was present from the very beginning.
To understand how structures in the universe formed, scientists ran computer simulations. When they included only visible matter, galaxies and clusters failed to form properly. When they added dark matter, the simulations produced a cosmic web that matched observations. This confirmed that dark matter plays a vital role in shaping the universe's large-scale structure. The accumulated evidence pointed to a new type of matter. But what exactly is it? Theoretical physicists have proposed several possible particles, based on extensions to the standard model of particle physics. One major idea is weakly interacting massive particles, or WIMPs. These hypothetical particles would interact only through gravity and the weak nuclear force, making them invisible to telescopes, yet still able to influence galaxy dynamics. Some versions of supersymmetry, a theory that extends the standard model, predict WIMP candidates, including a particle called the neutralino. If stable, neutralinos could have formed in the early universe and still exist today. Another candidate is the axion, Originally proposed to solve a problem in quantum chromodynamics, axions are extremely light and interact very weakly with matter. Despite their small mass, if produced in large quantities, they could account for dark matter. A third idea involves sterile neutrinos, hypothetical particles that do not even participate in weak nuclear interactions, making them even harder to detect. Each of these candidates offers a possible explanation for dark matter, but so far, none have been confirmed. Today, scientists around the world are working to uncover the true nature of dark matter using different approaches. In Italy, the Exenon NT experiment sits deep underground using a large tank of ultra-pure liquid xenon. The goal is to detect dark matter particles directly. If a particle collides with a xenon atom, it produces a small flash of light and a tiny electrical signal. In the United States, Lux Zeppelin, located in South Dakota, uses the same principle. In China, the Pandex experiment also relies on liquid xenon to search for rare interactions. These underground detectors are designed to avoid interference from cosmic rays and natural background radiation. On the International Space Station, the AMS AO2 experiment collects cosmic rays, high energy particles from space. Scientists analyze these particles for unusual patterns that might suggest dark matter interactions. At CERN in Switzerland, the Large Hadron Collider tries to create dark matter by colliding protons at extremely high energies. While dark matter particles would escape the detectors unseen, their presence could be inferred from missing energy or unexpected signals. Meanwhile, the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, orbiting Earth, looks for gamma rays that might be produced when dark matter particles interact or decay in space. Each of these experiments uses a different strategy, but they all share the same goal, to finally detect and understand what dark matter really is. It all began with galaxies spinning too fast nearly a century ago. Today, we know dark matter makes up about 27% of the universe. It holds galaxies together and sculpts the cosmic web. Yet we still don't know what it's made of. Scientists continue to build more sensitive detectors and design new experiments, hoping for a breakthrough that will finally reveal this invisible mass. The search for dark matter is one of the greatest scientific quests of our time, a mystery that could change our understanding of the universe forever. And as long as the mystery remains, humanity will keep searching. If this journey into the invisible universe moved you, then don't stop here. Subscribe to Curiosa for more stories where science meets wonder. Stay curious with Curiosa.